to add a blog and update the blog on this website. Now uh, for Shopify. So uh, Shopify 2.0, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, anyway, so all of the themes in Shopify are a little different in the way that they display the blogs. On this particular theme, if you scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see that it has this Bark and Meow blog, and you got the big image, and you, these images over here for other posts. If you look at this other website, let's go here. Uh, this is another theme. This is a... Uh, so if we scroll down here on this particular one, you'll see that the posts are different. They got three across. This one's a lot nicer, right? Although the other one's cool too. So what we do here is um, Shopify allows you to have multiple blogs and allows you to have multiple posts, etc. So we can go ahead and create um, any blogs we want. So if you go to manage blogs here, so I went to online store, blog, posts, and then manage blogs. So I can create multiple blogs. So say for one instance, I have one uh, vacation in Peru and I had another one called uh, vacation in the United States and another one called, so I can do that and then post specific posts to those particular blogs. This blog here is the one that was chosen for the home page. So this is the one that we're going to edit and we're going to use. Um, we don't need to click on this and to deal with any of this stuff here, but you can disable the uh, uh, comments if you don't want people posting on there. Um, and then you can automatically publish them, which I don't recommend because people will put stuff on there. Comments are allowed, but they're pending moderation. This will actually email you um, any of the comments that are sent to you. Excuse me. So for instructional purposes, we'll use these arrows, but you can always click on blog posts to get back to the main blog post page. So I'm going to go ahead and click and create a brand new blog and show you how to do this correctly. So let's say, for instance, that, um, and this is a pet food website. So say, for instance, that I want to create uh, one that says the top seven, or let's just do seven benefits of raw pet food. So this title here. Um, is going to be the title of my blog post, and it's also the H1 tag. So that means it's a heading one tag for search engine optimization. So if you're going to create these blogs, do it correct. Do it so it helps you. Don't just get on here to create content if you're not going to ma make it correct. So, and the way that we do that is this is the H1, you know, it's called H1, but we're not going to put that. Then we need H2, H3, um, even H4 if you want to, and you can go H5, H6, whatever. This is more for a structural thing for people to read and different sizing, but it also helps the search engines say, hey, this website, this post is about this, and then this is the second important item. It's still talking about that, and this is the third most important item, and it's talking about this stuff. So um, if you also notice, it says that this is hidden. So I can work on this blog and not have it live on my website until I tell it to be so. I can also set a visibility date. So I can finish the blog, and then I can set a visibility date. So say, for instance, I have a, a day where I feel like writing like, like a frenzy. Um, I can create four or five blogs, and I want to post them once a week. You know, I can set different dates for each of the blog posts, and it will automatically post for me. So if you're going on a vacation, and you're working for someone, or you're doing it for yourself, or whatever, which is really cool. So I have seven benefits of raw pet food. So my next, you know, H2 tag may be, um, you know, what are, uh, let's see, um, raw dog food benefits. So if I select this, I'll go ahead and select the A and make an H2 tag here. And then I want to go ahead and hit enter and go down to the next line and then leave this as paragraph formatting so I can talk about what I'm going to talk about. So this is the cool. So in this option, I would say, you know, this is my wonderful, you know, raw dog food benefit text. And then if you're doing this and you, you should also highlight what um, is the most important keyword. And you do it towards the top of the actual post so that you get some, um, it, it tells the search engine that this is strong and this is an important word and it's related to this and related to this. So I'll go ahead and do the rest of this where I'm gonna put in text. Let's just do text. Air text, text, text. <coughs> I could have put it in, let's see, let's do this, whatever. 
Okay, so let's just backspace out of here. All right, so say for instance, I have my wonderful blog post created. Uh, let's do the next line. So I've, that's the first line of step. I put a paragraph there, and then I want to, you know, if you're really trying to make a good SEO page, you also want to put an image on here that has um, the same name, you know, as your, you know, uh, keyword here. So if I were to upload an image, I'll just choose one. I'm not going to select anything. Let's just pick the top hat. But there's no alt text on this. So say, for instance, this is my image here, and it's called uh, Seven Benefits of Raw Pet Food JPEG. I also want to make sure that the Im image alt text does relate to this. So seven benefits of raw pet food. So once this is on here, I also want to get some of that other SEO juice for the domain. So I'll go ahead and select the, the hyphen here, and then I'll put in shop downtown tabby pet store dot com. Um, and what I do at the end of this is I put a period. And the reason why I do that is so that um, screen readers for accessibility for people that are viewing the website that are blind or actually going over the website that are blind with a screen reader um, will have this read off. Because it's going to read off seven benefits of raw pet food shop downtown tabby pet store dot com period. And it's going to stop. Otherwise, it's a run on sentence and it keeps going and it starts it reads the rest of the website page stuff. So if you really uh, want to do this correctly and make it so it's accessible for people with disabilities, add a period at the end of your alt tag texts. Um, it's also nice to put the shop in here and then the website so that you do get some of that SEO juice. And then um, the image itself, if you are going to name it 7-benefits-of-raw-pet-food.jpg, you might even want to put in the domain name at the end of the image. If it is your image, if it is something that you created and is not copyrighted or stolen or used uh, elsewhere. So what happens when you do that with the images is when Google starts or other engines start to index your website and people are searching for image content and they look for your domain, you're going to get all of that juice from the actual images as well. So it's kind of nice to do that correctly. So if you look at this next piece here, it says your product image size is 480 by 480. You know, I may want to have a nice big image there for whatever it's going to be. And so say, for instance, I want it to be a banner image of 600 or wallpaper. I just want a nice big image. So I'll put 600 and I'm going to put insert image. So um, this particular image isn't that tall, though. Uh, isn't that wide? I think it was like 300 or something when I created it or 200. So it's not going to make it bigger. I can stretch it in here. It's going to look weird, but whatever. So say, for instance, that's your product image. And then you could say shop, you know, this raw pet food, right? And then you can have a link. You can make a link to the actual product. And so with Shopify, you can't just start typing in here, you know, like WordPress or something. So you got to go find a pet food product. So let's just go find one. We'll just grab this guy here. And then I'll go up to the top and I'll grab the link at the very top of the URL. You can't see it. It's off of my screen here. But I'll go back in here and I'll paste it in here. And now it's, you know, Fussy Cat Premium Tuna with anchovies. So I also want to make sure that I put in the link title. So the link title is going to be whatever the product is. And so in this case, it is this Fussy Cat right here. So I'll grab that. And it's going to that particular right here. And I'll put in Fussy Cat Premium Tuna with anchovies, cat. And again, what I'm going to do for the link title is put in downtown tabby pet store .com. the reason why you do that you're just branding everything so that people when they start looking for pet store stuff you know you can put it in here so insert link you can also put other things like you know uh, pet store like in this case they're focusing on uh, pet store Gainesville Florida and I'd probably do it this way Florida and then a dash and then the domain name um, and again, at the end, if you want to put that period, okay, insert link. So now I got the link to this here, and that should be whatever my fussy cat. And I also want to link the image too. So I do want to make sure that the image is also linked, um, and it has its own unique, you know, title in here as well. This would be the link to the actual product. I'll grab that, throw that in there, insert link. So now I've got an H2, I've got some text here, I've got a product, I've got internal linking, right, going to my site, and then I'm going to do an H3 tag. And then I can use the rest of the H3s for, you know, benefit one of raw dog food, whatever, dog food, benefit. And then notice I'll do H3s, and I can just go down and just copy these. 
and this will be benefit two, benefit three, because I'm going to do seven, right? So benefit two, benefit three, etc. And I'm going to put some text copy below that. And then I, w I do want to stay with that same convention. And then if you have anything in here that's going to link to anything, you can do that too. So say, let's just grab this. Let me grab here. Let's put in some more text. You get the idea, right? So you have your whole blog. And if you can, put some images in here. You can format it however you like. So say, for instance, that's done. I'll go ahead and save it just so I have my information. The next thing I want to do is do my featured image. So I'm going to go ahead and select Add Image. Now, in this case, when you select an add image on this particular theme, it's going to go ahead and show up on the um, homepage here as this nice big image. And then if you did it on this other theme, sorry, this other theme, it'll show up here as the main image. Now, some of them, when you click to go to the actual post, don't have that image in there as well. So some of them are kind of weird. Um, it just depends on the theme that you're choosing. So I'll just choose this guy. Let's see what happens. And now I got the mutt in here. This one does it. So see, this does a cool one. We'll go ahead and go back. National Mutt Day. Okay, so now I'm going to choose my featured image, and then let me just grab. Uh, let me just grab one. And we'll just grab a bloggy. What's the so here? The healthiest cat cat foods, right? So let's go ahead and open that one. So we're just going to say it's for the cat. And now remember, I uploaded this image, right? And it should be a good size. You know, if you have the sizes of a thousand by a thousand, it's pretty good. Twelve hundred by twelve hundred is better. Um, if you do sixteen hundred by sixteen hundred, it makes square images, right? So this one's actually kind of portfolio size, whatever. Or it's a portrait, so you might want to go nineteen twenty by ten forty eight. Nineteen twenty by ten forty eight is a good size. And then the um, social media and other uh, places that do pick this up, or if you share these will pick up the images because they're large, because they can always downsize the image for you. Um, some people actually create them exact sizes for the social media so that it gets picked up that way. But if you just were to grab this blog post's link after I create the blog post, and it's an active blog, and then you go ahead and post it in your social media, then it's going to go ahead and pick up this featured image. And it's also going to pick up the initial text and some other things that are on here. So we're going to go ahead and select, we need to go ahead and, and add the alt text to this. So you always want to make sure that you, don't, you click the image again after you have it on here. So in this case, I've got this uh, cat food. So let me grab the cat food again. It's a fussy cat. So I'm going to do the same thing, the alt text text because I want them to know what this is. You can, That's the text right there and then you can buy it at shop downtown tabby pet store dot com period right period and now I've got that so now it's going to be it, it is kind of the same thing here we're kind of doing a CSA but this is going to be on the first page and then they're going to get into this page right so next thing we do here is we're going to go ahead and see who the author is uh, right now it is me uh, but we can put whoever we want on here, and this could be, uh, let's see, uh, downtown, let's do downtown, there's cashier, tabby, or we can do tabby team, I think it is, tabby team, yeah, tabby team, so use that one and on this one, so this is for this website, and then we have this excerpt, so you can actually choose what you want uh, people to see for uh, the SEO or, or the initial, you, a lot of people will put this on here because their blog, for instance, will show the excerpt on the bottom here. So notice how you have these titles here. If I were to add an excerpt, it would actually add it below that for this theme. And every theme is different, remember. So if I'm going to put it on this one, I'm probably not going to see it um, because it doesn't uh, have the excerpts on here. So we don't have to worry about that one in this case. But we are worried about the um, search engine listing preview. So if you look at this, you got seven benefits of raw pet food. So what I did with this particular website is I added the code in the back end to add shop downtown tabby pet store. But um, if you don't have that code and you're actually editing this, um, I'm going to show you um, how to do that. You go ahead and click on edit uh, website SEO. And then what this is going to do is it's going to grab the first paragraph from your blog. So you really want to be descriptive in the sales copy here. And you also want to change this. So you want this to be, um, this is the way search engines are going to see it, right? So seven benefits of raw pet food. So uh, seven benefits of raw, raw, if I do it that way, pet food. Uh, downtown, 
Babby Pet Store. So, and you could put in uh, Gainesville. So if you look at this, it's going to give me the amount of characters I'm allowed to use, 70. If you look here, and then I was able to actually get it through the whole, the whole thing on there. So look, when someone sees this and they're scrolling through the website real fast, seven benefits of raw pet food, downtown Tabby Pet Store, Gainesville, Florida. So they know exactly what it is and where to get it, right? So the next thing down what I'm going to do here is if you look at this, it says 320 characters. So Shopify gives you... A lot of characters to use because some of the engines should pick it up more information than others. Um, so depending on, and then also if it gets listed on like classified sites or blogs or somewhere else, they'll pull up more of the full text instead of the 170 or 155 characters that are usually used for the search engines. So when you start writing this, and then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of this here. So I'm at 64 characters. So when you get to a point where it's, you know, 300 or 100 in, let's see, 55. Well, people say 170, but I like to stick in the 155 route, 160, right? And so let's just say there. There we go, 155. So everything up to that point is going to be uh, Google friendly, right? And then anything over that is gravy. Okay. So you're allowed to add it on there up to that amount if you like okay some people can get away with the description here now this should also be you know you know buy um, raw pet food uh, downtown right town tabby pet store Gainesville saying it again Florida and then you don't have, I mean, you can do this. If, you're, if your blog at the top is, is pretty descriptive in what you're talking about and you forget to do this, it's okay, but it's better to control this. So buy raw, so I can really control my message, you know, call and then the phone number, whatever, right? Or shop local, and same day, delivery, whatever, right? So you can... You can make this so this is also your sales message, right? So they're going to see this, right? So this reads a lot better than, you know, raw dog food benefits, blah, 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 blah. So it depends on how you want to do it, right? So say, for instance, those are all done. Everything's good. Here's my URL. So it's the blog news, seven benefits of raw pet food. So if you look at this, I have um, it set up for this blog here, okay? And I can put it in Cowboy's Corner, but that's not the homepage one. This one is, right? The Bark and Meow blog. And the last thing I want to do is add some tags to this. So um, some people don't use tags. And they think, you know, oh, it's a pain in the ass, whatever. Just don't get too crazy with these. You could just say raw uh, pet food, best raw dog food, best raw cat food and you're asking why I put dog food in here because you're going to talk about dog food and cat food in here and even though we have a featured image of this this would be you know a raw pet food image or something else like that right so once that's finished everything's looking good I'm feeling confident about it I'm going to go ahead and save it let's take a look at it go to the preview and I've got my seven benefits of raw pet food and then I've got all this raw dog food benefits. This is my wonderful so-and-so raw. See, and here's my links, everything, and then more from, and then raw cat food, best raw dog food, raw pet food. So these are the tags that I added, and they also get picked up throughout the uh, search engines as well. Just don't get too crazy with the tags. So I think that looks great. I'm going to go ahead and click make it visible. So now if I make this visible and hit save, Right? It takes a minute for um, Shopify's cache to refresh and to show you the latest blog. So let's see if it showed up yet. Yeah, it did. So that was pretty quick. It doesn't usually go that fast, but sometimes it takes a minute or two for it to show up. So now that's going to take over my... Well, I don't want that blog showing because it's awful. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this thing. I'm actually going to delete it. So I'm going to say visible. So let me go here. I'm going to go to the bottom. And I'm going to delete the blog post. It's a little bit off my screen, and I'm going to delete it because I don't want that on there. 
But that's how you add the blog to Shopify, real simple. And then if you're trying to um, choose which blog goes on to your homepage, depending on your theme, you go to online store, customize, and then on this particular one, it's down here at the bottom, right? So my Bark and Meow blog. So the way Shopify has it, this is the expanse theme. So if I look at this, here's my blog posts right here. But if I don't have one on here, like say for instance it's already showing for you, you click on it, and then you can select the blog that you want to use. So you click the blog, and then you can change it by change blog. So if I wanted the other one to show, Cowboy's Corner, I can select change blog, and then I select Cowboy's Corner. But I'm not going to do that. Okay, so you could also show tags, show the date, show comment count, show the author, blah, 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 right? So you do have some cool things you can do with this theme. All the themes are different, again. So say for instance, it's not showing, you could always add the section, and then most of these themes will have blog posts, and you can select it, and then it's gonna do it again. It's gonna show from the blog, right? So it also added it at the bottom, but I don't want it down at the bottom there. I want it to show up higher on the page. You gotta always just click here, left click, and then just drag it wherever I want it. So this is the blog I do not want. So I could either hide this as I'm working on it also, right? Say I don't want it to, sh to show to the public yet and all my blog posts are not ready. I, then I can enable it and then they're there, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and select it with the eyeball. I'm gonna click on it and I don't wanna keep it on here. So I'm gonna remove that one. All right, that's it. Subscribe, like, smash my like button, make me popular. Thank you.